Howie, everyone. Welcome to episode 11 of, as we have some exciting things lined up. First, we have our notice qualification match between Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley. Then we will have Seth Rollins live after the World Rumble to hear his thoughts after that match. We'll also have our semifinals of the tag team tournament also live here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and our triple threat main event, Dolph Ziggler, Sammy Guevara, and Sheamus. But right now, we're going to turn it over to Triple H. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 11. Welcome to the fallout, as I like to call it, the Royal Rumble. Now, as you've seen at the Royal Rumble, 30 men entered. It was only one winner. It was gonna be one new unified undisputed champion. And we now know that man is Roman Reigns. I understand that, you know, you guys might not like the outcome of that match, but he is indeed the new champion. So, with that being said, WrestleMania is four episodes away. And we must kick things in the gear. We must find Roman Reigns a suitable challenger. And I think that I have an idea, but first I have to take care of business. As me being the person that runs this place, that makes the matches, I have to take care of business. So I want three Roman Reigns out and I have a token of a surprise for him. So ladies and gentlemen, could you please welcome the new undisputed heavyweight champion, Roman Reigns. Ladies and gentlemen, you hear the unpleasant crowd live here tonight. As they're to their fan favorite, Kenny Omega, got his ass whooped by the bloodline following the Royal Rumble in that WWE exclusive. But we shall all stand up and acknowledge the tribal chief. Stephanie informed me that you sent legal documents to WPW if you are not included in the WPW Royal Rumble. And my man, you didn't have to take that route. You see, every superstar that entered that Royal Rumble meant they deserved to be in that Royal Rumble. And I totally would have not declined your offer to be in the Royal Rumble match. But switching gears, I do want to congratulate you for stepping up. I do want to congratulate you and your cousins for coming back to this company because we need star power and you, my friend, you bring that. And that's indeed why I have a brand new unified WPW World Heavyweight Championship. Let's have a little story time, though. 
So a couple months ago, I dropped the Intercontinental Championship Ziggler, right? And I said to myself, this is not where I want to be. I should be at the top. I should be in the main event scene. And I knew I should have been there. And I could taste it. But I had to step away from this ring. I had to step away. I had to map things out. And, according, and, and the only way I could do that was to get some backup. And that brings me to my cousins, Jimmy and Jay Uso. And they were champions. Indeed, they were champions. But were they going to be the champions that I want to be the last in a lifetime? Right, Paul? And Paul, that brings me to you. You are one of the wisest people I know outside of this business. You're still smart as hell. And that's why I acquired you to my team. And that's why Jimmy, Jimmy and Jay, y'all may didn't see the vision at the time, but y'all gonna see it now. Y'all are gonna get those tag team titles back and y'all gonna start y'all's legacy the right way, the bloodline way. And from there, we're gonna run this place. We're gonna run it to the one that you want to Wait a minute, it's the Elite. And there's the Young Bucks and the Usos charging at the Young Bucks and they get floored. And look, 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 it's Kenny. It's Kenny Omega. He just ran across us, ladies and gentlemen, now he's in the ring. And Roman Reigns is acting like he's a Casino ghost. Roman Reigns going for a Superman punch. Kenny Ducks, oh, almost hit him with the V-Trigger. And Roman Reigns just dodges it. He doesn't want any part of the elite. And this is an explosion waiting to happen, ladies and gentlemen, as we should get more confirmation of what's to come next. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and now we're set for our WPW Tag Team Tournament Semifinals match between Powerhouse Hobbs and Victor Starks and AJ Styles and Finn Balor. And there's Finn Balor, and we know the crowd and the WPW fans do not like Finn Balor and AJ Styles following a heinous attack on Drew McIntyre a while ago. Two have taken over WPW by storm, and in fact, they have inserted themselves to the tag team title tournament. And who's more phenomenal than the phenomenal AJ Styles? AJ Styles and Finn Balor set for their tag team tournament semifinals match between this team right here, Ricky Starks and Powerhouse Hawks. The revolution is televised. And this young upstart team just came on the scene a few months ago, but I must say they are a fan favorite and they are hot as they come. And the crowd loves these guys. They are upstart. They are ready for some action. They are ready for tag team gold. Ricky starts the powerhouse Hobbs. They're gonna have to be on their A game. They wanna beat these two veterans, known as AJ Styles and Finn Balor. They have to do everything to cut those guys off because they are very smart ring technicians. And things getting heated already between these two teams. Finn Balor is already down, courtesy of a drop kick by Ricky Starks. And now Ricky Starks. What is he going for here? Ricky Starks going for a punch of Finn Balor. Catches up with a Pele kick. And Will Hobbs tags in. And now AJ Styles a sneak tag. Spot buster by Hobbs. And he goes for the cover. But it's not legal because AJ Styles is tagged in. And now he kicks him right in the head. And now AJ Styles looking to put this match away. 
with the Styles Clash, but Ricky Starks, Ricky Starks, he plants him with the Red Shambo and for the cover. And Finn Balor with a coup de grace to the small of the back by Hobbs. Finn Balor levels Ricky Starks down. And AJ Styles sneaks into the cover and he pins Will Hobbs to advance in the tag team tournament. And Ricky Starks, Powerhouse Hobbs, they did a phenomenal job live here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the updated tag team tournament bracket as we see the Usos have moved on to the finals because they never lost the tag team championships. And the next episode, the Young Bucks will challenge a mystery tag team. But congratulations to AJ Styles and Finn Balor for beating Powerhouse Hobbs and Ricky Starks as they move on. Hey, Bobby, Bobby, can I get a quick word with you? What's necessarily your strategy going into your notice qualification match with Braun Strowman live for tonight? Well, Renee, where my head's at, my head is going into that ring, beating Braun Strowman, making him tap out, making him submit, making him pass out. Anything that I see fit that the Almighty needs to do, that's what I'm going to do in order to bulldoze through Braun Strowman and make my way to WrestleMania. And look at here. I was granted a new United States Championship by Triple H. And I don't think people around here would just get these type of gifts. You know, you, these things have to be earned. I'm going to prove tonight that I'm more than capable of being the United States Champion. So, I'm going to take care of Braun Strowman. And then, from there, my wrestle. Bobby! I heard you talking smack over there, so if you're so confident, how about you put that United States Championship on the line tonight. You know what, Braun? I'm so damn confident. You're on. <laughs> you don't know what type of mistake you just made. Welcome back, folks. But right now, we want to take your attention to a return that happened at the Royal Rumble, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And suplex to the Young Bucks, turns them inside out. And Tom eats the bell to belly. And he's Cody Rhodes. A heinous attack by Bray Wyatt. Hopefully, right now, Cody Rhodes will indeed get some access. And there he is, the son of Dusty Rhodes. He has finally made his return back to WPW in the Royal Rumble match. And you're talking about a future World Heavyweight Champion, a future WPW Undisputed Champion, I might say, in this company. You're looking at that guy right there. And this crowd is eating up every bit of Cody Rhodes, and how can you blame them? And now let's see what the American Nightmare has to say. So, what do you guys want to talk about? Well, I want to talk about what happened at the Royal Rumble. I want to talk about me making my triumphant return. I want to talk about me 
coming back to be on top of the world and winning the WPW Undisputed Heavyweight Championships. Now, before I make my case and point about a certain individual, I'd like to take you guys back to Money in the Bank a couple of years ago, maybe three or four years ago. I had what I thought was going to be my last match in WPW when I faced Triple H for the WPW Championship at the time. And I came up short. And at that stage of my career, I didn't think I could do this anymore. I didn't think that I had the star power to stay at the top. So I had to leave. And amongst me leaving, that opened up a lot of opportunities for a lot of people. But that also opened up a lot of opportunities outside of this business for me. As I left, I married. I had a child. I've been torn on the independent scene. And I thought, what could make Cody Rhodes great again? What could, could get me back to the dance? What could get my name back out there? What could I do to get back on top of this business, on top of the world? So, the same guy that beat me three or four years ago was the same guy that gave me a contract to come back at the Royal Rumble to make my return, and that was Triple H, and I appreciate him. I appreciate the fact that Triple H still seen champion me despite the match that we had three or four years ago, he still seen something in me. And I knew at the Royal Rumble that I had a fair shot. And when it was closing in on me, when people were flying over the top rope, when people were getting eliminated, when people dreams of going to WrestleMania and win the WPW Championship or being erased left and right, I was there standing. Standing to get rid of John Moxley. Standing to hit him with a crossroads and throw him over the top rope. And all of a sudden the lights go out. The lights go out and next thing you know, it's like a strange blow to the back of my head. And next thing you know, I'm being Sister Abigail on the back. And then the lights go back out. And then the lights come back on. And next thing you know, my body's placed over the top ropes and I'm big booted off of the apron by Roman Reigns. And my dreams have became dashed at that point. No WPW championship in sight. So, it's only one thing left to say. Bray Wyatt, get your ass out here right now and explain why you cost me the WPW Undisputed Heavyweight Championship match in the World Rumble. I want answers and I want them now. And Cody Rhodes calling out Bray Wyatt as we respect. And no signs of Wyatt as Cody's looking for Wyatt and the lights are shutting off in the arena, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all know what that means. And there's Bray Wyatt in the corner, Cody. Cody, man. Cody. <laughs> you really cracked me up, man. You cracked me up. I did, I did, I did the old one, man. I did what I did because there's only one person that's going to be on top. And it's going to be Bray Wyatt. And the era of Bray Wyatt is also a tournament. The way I look at it, only one person can be on top of the top of me. And that man is the eating of the world. And that man is also going to be taking the time of the world for this month. Because it's only one man at the top. It's only one for one man at the top. And it's not you, man. It's not you, man. Oh. And Cody Ball's not having none of that. And the lights have came back on and Bray Wyatt has vanished. And Cody looks pissed and I don't blame him. But Triple H just tweeted out, ladies and gentlemen, next week Cody will be able to get his hands on Bray Wyatt. And also, 
Roman Reigns will step in the ring one-on-one -on -one action since he has returned versus Kevin Owens live next week. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are set for this snake, for this slide ball, for this POS, Randy Orton. And ladies and gentlemen, this man, Randy Orton, has to be feeling good after he defeated Jeff Hardy in the, in the stretcher match at the Royal Rumble this past weekend. And people, let's see what the Viper has to say following the match. Jeff Hart. Quiet down, quiet down, quiet down, you peasants. Sit down, sit down. Now at the Royal Rumble. At the Royal Rumble. I was cheated out by Matt Hardy, and I will put a stop to this mess. I got rid of Jeff, and now it's time to get rid of Matt Hardy. I'm doing any and everything to go to WrestleMania and not worry about this problem anymore. And there's the Hardy's music. Randy, and there's Matt Hardy. Randy, I've heard enough. I've heard enough coming from your mouth to disrespect of you and my brother Jeff. You put him on the shelf at the Royal Rumble, and now I'm about to put you on the shelf. Well, let's get it on, gentlemen. And Matt Hardy's making his play, but Austin Theory coming out here. You know what, Matt Hardy, unlike Randy Orton, I respect you and Jeff Hardy. And for that, I'm willing to fight Randy Orton instead of you and Teach him a lesson about respect. Oh, yeah. And Orton, you're going to learn some respect courtesy of an A time down. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this match is going to be official Austin Theory versus Randy Orton. And Austin Theory perhaps looking for a blockbuster on Randy Orton. Oh, and he levels it and now shoots the half. Two, and Randy Orton powers out. And now Austin Theory on the apron, perhaps looking for that, that roll-in drop kick. And Randy Orton looking for an RKO. That's how he leveled him at the Royal Rumble, but Austin Theory had other plans. And now Theory catches him with the drop kick. Now Austin Theory looking for a little bit of a town down on Randy Orton. He has him up. And Orton pops off Theory, bops it to the rail. And Randy Orton just low blows Austin Theory. And Randy Orton just pinned Austin Theory. And Matt Hardy charging at Orton, but he scatters out the ring like a flock. And I honestly believe Randy Orton will have what's coming to him sooner than later. But ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna turn your attention to what happened at the Royal Rumble when Seth Rollins was eliminated by Kenny Omega. for Omega and Omega clutching on to the ropes as he's been drugged over there and Omega the trigger sends Roman inside the ring and Seth Rollins is eliminated and now we look to see what is next for the visionary Seth Rollins heading into Wrestlemania after he lost his WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble And he's always here to entertain these fans. But you have to wonder what's going in the mind of Seth Rollins following. He doesn't have his championship anymore. And then on top of that, he went into the World Rumble match. And he almost, he almost won, ladies and gentlemen. But Kenny Omega had other plans dropping Rollins over the top rope. It's CM Punk 
what is this man CM Punk doing out here interrupts and Seth Rollins? Rollins was about to say something, but Punk's music hit the PA system. And now we're going to hear what Punk has to say. Now, Seth, you might be asking, Phil, why you're out here? And I can explain why I'm out here. Seth, I'm going to take you back to a couple of years ago, WPW, the initial first WrestleMania. On that night, you're supposed to face Shinsuke Nakamura for the WPW Championship at the time, remember? But Stephanie came up to you and she told you you were suspended. And I want to say that I had my hand in that cookie jar. I want to say I had my hand in the reason why you were suspended. And then out of nowhere, I clocked you in the head when you least suspected it. But as a man, I just want to come out here and apologize to you for that. I want to apologize to you, Seth, because I, know I wasn't a man back then, but I am now. And I also want to just sincerely apologize to you, Seth, because, well, hell, I should have did it sooner. CM Punk just moved up Seth Rollins. What the hell was it with people doing low blows around here? And Punk just leveled Rollins. And now he's mocking Seth Rollins. And Punk with a mic drop on the head of Rollins. And now he exits the ring. He doesn't give a damn. And Seth is pissed, ladies and gentlemen. We should have more on this development story soon as to why CM Punk just attacked Seth Rollins. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time, Sammy Guevara. Sammy, I have to ask you tonight, what are your plans and what are your thoughts to win this match? Because at the Royal Rumble, you indeed came up short, but it was because of Mandy Rose. But tonight, no Mandy Rose, so how will you claim victory tonight? Renee, indeed at the Royal Rumble, I did come up short. But it was because of Mandy Rose. But now I have to fat in the Sheamus, who's now in my match that was originally supposed to be my own. But tonight I'm going to prove all the naysayers wrong and I'm going to become Intercontinental Champion and still be on top of the world. That's my point. Back to you guys at ringside. And people, we are set for our United States Championship no disqualification match between this man right here Braun freaking Strowman and Bobby Lashley. And Braun Strowman pushed Bobby Lashley's buttons live here tonight to get exactly what he wanted, and that was a United States Championship title match live here tonight. And here he is, the man of the hour. The new United States champion following the Royal Rumble, Bobby Lashley, who he defeated John Morrison and Sami Zayn to win the title. But now it's all about retaining the title against Braun Strowman in a no disqualification match. And I just know these two are about to beat the living hell out of one another live here tonight. As you see that brand new shiny United States Championship, Triple H gifted Bobby Lashley live earlier here tonight. And it looks lovely. And let's get it on, gentlemen. And this has been one grueling matchup as Bobby Lashley looks to be charging at Strowman. And Strowman sidesteps Lashley. And Lashley goes into the ring post. And it looks that he's busted open, ladies and gentlemen. And now ref Aubrey Edwards exiting the ring right now to check on Lashley to make sure he's okay. And Braun has a busted Bobby Lashley up. We could see a new United States champion in the cover. And Lashley kicks out. And Braun is very shocked. And Lashley laid out with the chair and Braun Strowman on the top rope. And what the hell is that's Gunther? That's Gunther, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to Guther. 
and what a insane matchup. Bobby Lashley busted open, bruised, but he retains his title live here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guests at this time, Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. Renee, we're gonna cut down to the chase. And what happened earlier tonight was a disgrace to professional wrestling. It was a disgrace to this great sport that I love. But Roman Reigns just is here for show. And I'm going to take that title off of him soon enough. And I plan on doing it at WrestleMania. And as far as these guys, they are set on the Tag Team Championships, which they should be. But I appreciate them for always having my back. That's right, Kenny. Roman Reigns is going to have his just due. But as far as next week, the Tag Team that's going to face us, we're going to be so rude. That tag team facing y'all is me and Dawkins. Next week, we want all the smoke. Hell yeah, we got a street profit party coming to the WPW Tag Team Division. We are now set for our triple threat main event for the Intercontinental Championship. And now we have Sammy Guevara making his way out to the ring and he's on a prayer and a miracle following his loss against Sigler at the Royal Rumble for the Intercontinental Championship. And personally, folks, this is my pick to win tonight, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. This man right here is something special to this, to this company. I'll tell you one thing. And now we have Dolph Ziggler and let's reiterate this, people, because I'm so excited. Mandy Rose is banned from ringside. No Mandy Rose to help you tonight, Ziggler. After all these times you've cheated, you're going to have to do it on your own tonight, buddy. And now he's looking through the curtain for Mandy. She ain't coming out sucker. You got to do it all on your own. Now Triple H. Triple H is presenting a brand new Intercontinental Championship. And it looks beautiful. Sheamus has Ziggler looking to put him through the timekeeper's area, and he does. And Ziggler falls like an accordion. Sammy Guevara going for a quick roll up on Sheamus. And Sheamus kicks out. And now Sheamus, bro, kick to Sammy Guevara and Ziggler. Ziggler. Throws Sheamus into the ring post and he goes in for the cover. No, not like this again. And Ziggler steals the victory from Sheamus. And now he gets the new Intercontinental Championship. And poor Sammy Gavar just can't catch a break. And Sheamus thrown into that ring post there. And there's Mandy with Ziggler. Nobody wants to see this crap. And ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you for joining us for this special edition of episode 11. We will see you next episode for episode 12. Good night, everybody.